friends. Today, we are learning about butterflies. I'm going to teach you to say butterfly with American Sign Language. Show me your hands. Now, turn your hands around and make an X with your arms. Wiggle your thumbs. Now, let's cross our thumbs in the middle, just like this, and wiggle your hands like we're flapping our butterfly's wings. Today, Fitz and I will tell you a story about Fitz's butterflies. Once upon a time, Fitz found caterpillars in his backyard. He was very curious about them. His mom and dad put the caterpillars into a jar so that Fitz could watch them. The caterpillars crawled around in their jar and Fitz checked on them every day. Then, one day, Fitz saw something very strange had happened. All of the caterpillars were gone. Instead of a jar full of caterpillars, Fitz saw little chrysalides hanging from the top of the jar. Fitz and his dad moved the lid with the chrysalides into a big mesh cage. Don't worry, Fitz, his dad told him. The chrysalides will be safe here. Just a few more days to wait. But Fitz didn't understand. What was he waiting for? One morning, Fitz watched as a chrysalis began to shake and wiggle. Fitz watched closely. The chrysalis cracked and two little wings popped out. What's happened to the chrysalis? Where is my caterpillar? Fitz asked his mom and dad. Oh, Fitz, this is wonderful. Our caterpillar has become a butterfly. It wasn't long until all of the chrysalides cracked open and butterflies fluttered out. How many are there? One, two, three, four, maybe more? My butterflies need more space to fly, Fitz told his dad. This cage is too small and I think they need fresh flower nectar to drink. Fitz hopped into the car with his mom, dad, and butterfly cage. His family drove to a butterfly sanctuary at the park. Fitz said goodbye to his butterflies and then his dad gently opened the cage and took the butterflies out one by one letting them dance into the blue sky. Fitz spotted one of his butterflies on a flower. My butterflies have a great new home. The end. Caterpillars become butterflies through a process called metamorphosis. What a long and funny word. Can you try to say it with me? Meta more, fo, sis. Now let's put it all together. Metamorphosis. Today I will teach you a rhyme to help you remember 
the life cycle of the butterfly. The butterfly starts as a caterpillar. The caterpillar spins a chrysalis or a blanket to take a nap. When it's time for the caterpillar to wake up, she wiggles and she jiggles. And when she pops out of her chrysalis, she pops out of her blanket, she has wings and has become a butterfly. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar. Into a corner, he will creep. He'll spin himself a blanket and then fall fast asleep. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar. Soon he will rise and find he has grown beautiful wings. And now he is a butterfly. Fitz and I would like to share a few of our favorite books about caterpillars becoming butterflies. You can borrow these books from Howard County Library System. Visit us online at hclibrary.org to search the library's catalog, place requests, and schedule contactless pickup. You can also make an appointment to visit one of our branches in person. Look for details on our website. Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. This picture book explains how caterpillars change into butterflies. The illustrations are my favorite part of this story. You can hunt for caterpillars and butterflies among all the beautiful flowers. Don't Worry Bear by Greg Foley. When Bear's friend Caterpillar disappears into a cocoon, Bear is worried. When the cocoon falls from a tree one day, Bear is extra worried. What has happened to Caterpillar? This is a very sweet story of friendship and metamorphosis. Would you like to hear a story about five little butterflies? Show me the number five using your hands. Five little butterflies flying by the door. One flew away. Then there were four, four little butterflies sitting in a tree. One flew away, then there were three. Three little butterflies looking at you. One flew away, then there were two. Two little butterflies sitting in the sun. One flew away, then there was one. One little butterfly sitting all alone. It flew away and then there were none. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This classic picture book is available for you to borrow from Howard County Library System. In this story, we follow a caterpillar as he eats through different foods and finally spins a chrysalis and goes to sleep. What will he become when he wakes up? Glass Wings, a butterfly story by Alyssa Clevin. With our last picture book recommendation of the day, Fitz and I invite you to follow Claire, a glass wing butterfly from her home in the country to a new home in the city. Claire learns that with her clear wings, she can be almost any color. Which one will she like the best? We really like this story because it shows the important job that butterflies have to help pollinate flowers. This month, we have been growing lima beans in a plastic bag. Let's check on our lima bean experiment. Grab your garden science journal or a piece of paper and a crayon. I wonder if our lima beans have grown.
I see my beans have started to split open and a little shoot is coming from the center of one of them. I wonder how tall it is. I'll use a ruler to measure. Today in my garden science journal, I will draw a lima bean with a little shoot coming out from the center. Grown-ups, encourage your child to draw, write, and talk about their drawings. Drawing and writing teaches children that words and images have meanings and talking about their pictures or their writing helps children develop expressive vocabulary. Drawing and writing about our experiment is a great early literacy activity because our children are doing what real scientists do, reporting their findings about an experiment. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and Fitz today. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Until next time, stay safe and well. Fitz and I will see you again soon. Bye.